So now here are all our abstract paintings that we've been working on. So these are kind of nice. They're easy and they're a good start for you. You can change the colors, you can change the patterns as long as you got a nice pattern. Just draw out your pattern first if you have to in some cases. So in this red square here, I think I'm going to try a pattern. Let me see. Maybe we can go and draw. I'm going to use some chalk and I'm going to go up and down and up down and up and down and I'm just going to do a few of those lines there just give me a start on where I want to make my colors abstract painting is fun because you can do all kinds of things there's no no uh, it's just the ideas out of your head and just you know as long as you get some nice colors put together and and some little pattern and a background. So that background is red. I'm going to some, try some different brushes again. As I uh, always try some different brushes. And so let's try this flat. I got it like a sable brush. It's not real. It's not a bristle. I just got some colors on my palette here. Some, uh, oh, they're pretty watery. They're two paints, but they're watery for some reason. Okay, so I got the cad yellow and sap green, ultramarine blue, and a reddish orange color, cad red, and some brown, burnt sienna. Let's see what that looks like. So because the back the background is red, green is the uh, complement color of red. So let's try some green. So I'm just going to put a green line up here over my chalk area and we may need to do a couple of coats now what I really need is I always put white on I forgot to tell you to put the white on there so let's put some white on our palette and then we will continue putting on some color so put uh, let's see some how about some green on one side of your brush and some white on the other side of your brush. So let's go with white and green. And let's try that again. Put the green side down so the white will go on the top. That's better. There we go. Underneath that, let's probably try some yellow. See what that would look like. Let's thicken it up with some yellow. There we go. Now I got some yellow going on down there. Pretty. And now let's try some white and some of that orangey cad yellow. Cad, I'm sorry, cad red color. Because the background is already red, it won't show up. So let's go with some more cad red. There we go. So the more we put on there, the more you will. see it. Maybe we can put some white in between these colors here just to thicken them up and make different colors. I'm leaving my brush dirty so I'll pick up lots of different colors. There we go. See? There we go. Good. So all the colors, let's try another green and maybe the cad red on the back of the green. Let's go over this one here. So I'm just going to keep putting colors on. Color, color, color. So try different colors. You can make it purple by adding the red and the blue together. And some yellow and some white. So I'm just sort of throwing all the colors together on my brush. And just getting all these colors coming off. There, isn't that pretty? Going back into some white and some yellow coming down underneath here. Um, what I'm doing is keeping the pattern. So as you can see, I'm keeping the pattern. And that will um, give you, make some sense out of it. Because you, you can go in and put in whatever you want. Okay? So we'll just keep adding some colors until you're happy with what you've got done. 
and we'll go on top of those. And what I would like to do next is I'm just going to keep trying to add some more colors. I'm just adding some white. My brush is always dirty so I can pick up lots of color. And I like having the the white show up so that you can have different colors with some nice white streaks. And now what I'd like to do is I would like to try a different brush. See what other effects we can get. So try maybe a nice little liner brush. And you drag your brush through different colors and then put on smaller lines up on top and in between. Okay, so if you're having a hard time getting the paint off, just put lots of paint on your liner brush. Come on top of what you just did. And then go in between and underneath. Let's try another brush. That brush there is kind of not doing what I would like for it to do. So let's try another, this very thin long liner brush and run through some of your colors and make some more lines. These are nice lines, there we go. And a few more lines, just follow the pattern. Good, follow the pattern and make as many lines as you want. So you make skinny lines, thick lines, different colors. Just follow the pattern, that's it. So you can do anything else you want with that. You can also take some of your paint and splatter some paint. I like splattering. I find splattering is fun. Just splatter some paint on there to give it a bit of texture. So try to wet your brush so that it comes off. Splatter on some white, some yellow, some green. Just dip your brush into the different colors and then pull your finger through. It won't come off. Add some more water. And splatter, splatter, splatter. And you can splatter all kinds of colors on there. To give it texture and a fun look. There we go. Good. So splattering is fun and messy. And you could use a toothbrush. You can use a big brush, big old bristle brush. There we go. Splatter all that on there. As much color as you can get on. There. Lots of splattering. And then you can take your long liner brush again. Drag it through some paint. Make sure it's a little wet. And probably bring some more lines down through. Just bring your lines down through while the paint is wet. Work wet on wet. And it'll give you some nice designs. Let it all fall off your brush. It's okay. And just take all the paint and put it on there. So you just put design over design. There we go. And you got yourself a nice colorful abstract. So there they are. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and you got some tips and tricks on abstract paintings. So if you want any more, I'll be glad to do them for you. You can let me know. Oops. You can let me know and uh, we'll have some fun with abstract paintings. So Alison Pryor signing off. See you in the next video.